guys that really when we stay in spaces that are uncomfortable for, for us, it comes from a space of self-worth. It comes from a space of self-worth. So I'm going to tell you how I came up with this revelation. So in my previous marriage, when we were going through things, I would be thinking thoughts like, you know, what is he up to? Or, you know, maybe absorbing the uncomfortable conversations we were constantly having all the time. And the Holy Spirit asked me, do you love yourself? Do you love yourself? And I was like, yeah. And then I heard God clearly say, then why do you think thoughts that hurt you? Guys, that revelation changed my life because one, in that moment, I realized that I could control my thinking. Oh, have mercy. In that moment, I realized that I could control my thinking. But I was also able to take that same statement about my thoughts. Like I, I can take authority over my thoughts. And the fact that, hey, I wasn't really loving myself to the level that I should. I was able to line it up with every area of my life. I was able to say, well, if you really, really loved yourself, you get your finances straight. You would do the actions, you would take the steps, you would move on the opportunities. All of it is from a space of self-love, guys. Everything that's uncomfortable in your life that is a continuous cycle or flow, there's a level of love for yourself that needs to be incorporated in your life. And so when I, when I heard that statement from God about if I love myself, why did I think thoughts and understanding that I could control my thinking, it's when I became even more determined to teach about mindset. This is why I talk about mindset all the time, guys. And whenever I come on like this, it's just never enough time for me to go deeply into it because it's so, mindset is so progressive. It's so progressive. And so I'm never holding back with you guys when I come on. It's just, I couldn't teach this. I couldn't teach the mindset concepts in a short setting um, like this.